In my earlier tutorial I showed people how to make a backup copy of Mac OS X Line to DVD in case they ever needed to, to make a fresh install of OS X Line. Um, however, quite a lot of the Apple, Apple machines these days are, are being produced without uh, an optical drive, um, such as the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini. In situations like this, it's probably going to be more useful to make a USB drive uh, version of, of OS X that's bootable. So what we need to do then is, is, is after we've downloaded OS X Lion from the App Store and prior to our installation, we need to navigate to it, you'll find it in the Applications folder. You need to right click on the application and select Show Package Contents. In the contents folder, we need to navigate our way down to the shared support folder and locate the file and entitled install esd.dmg. This should be about 3.7 gig in size. Once you've got that file, you'll need to open up Disk Utility. I've already got it open in this window as you can see. And you'll need to drag that, for that file all the way over to the left window pane in Disk Utility. Now, I've already done that, so I'll not need to in this tutorial. But that's that's the start of, the, of the, that's the first stage of this process. So, looking at Disk Utilities window pane, you can see that I have a, a USB drive attached uh, to this machine. What we want to do is prepare that USB drive so that it can be booted from. It's currently it's currently formatted uh, in its partition scheme as a GUID partition table, which is fine. But that's what we want it to be. But what we'll need to do is just to ensure that this this drive is correctly formatted. So the first thing we're going to do is select the drive in this window, and then we're going to navigate up to the partition tab. We're going to select the volume scheme, and we're going to make that so that there is only one partition on this drive. We then need to move down to the options and, s and ensure that GUID partition table is selected because this is what all Intel based Macs will need to, to boot up from 10.4 onwards. We'll select OK and then all we need to do is hit apply. We'll get a warning telling us that this disk will change one of the partitions. Uh, we're happy to do that so let's hit partition. And disk utility will work its magic. Now that disk utility has finished, it has erased everything that was on the USB drive. Mine was already blank, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, what we need to do now, though, is move on to this tab, the hit the restore tab. What we want to do now is is instruct disk utility to use this DMG as the source of the disk image. You know, this is the thing we need to move into this. So we drag that into the source tab and um, for the destination we need to drag our new bootable drive into the destination folder. Once we've done that we can navigate down to the restore button and select that. We need to hit erase and we probably need to enter our passwords. Disk utility can take some time to actually erase and restore these drives, so I recommend that you go make a cup of tea and come back and we'll finish this tutorial once that disk has been once that drive has been completely restored. Now that disk utility has finished putting OS X install contents onto uh, the USB drive, we we're now ready to do a fresh install of that operating system onto our de a new destination machine. Uh, what we'll need to do is then, is when our machine, when our machine is is powered down, we'll we need to insert the USB drive into an available port. We need to turn on our machine at the power at the with the power button, and when we hear the familiar chiming startup noise that our Macs make, you need to hold down the Option button keep it held 
until you see a list of drives appearing on screen from which we can then boot. You should, if all things have gone well, see uh, that USB drive that we've just installed where sex lines extraction to extract the files to. And that's it, that's all we have to do. That should give you the capacity to boot up or install or upgrade your operating system onto another machine.